something so simple as having eyesight or line of sight trickery from up on top of the water, the shark swims in, looks up at the surface and goes, what is that? And they go, oh, bugger, this thing's seen me already. Oh, so wow. therefore it's, it's taken away the elements of surprise. I got all the way up and it was rougher than what I thought and oh, some sets come, oh, all the way up, just got to the top and then got thrown Boom. back over no. the again, all the way back down to 15 feet. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was killer. And it took me like almost all my breath to get to get up to the top. Oh, my you know? God. So, so I got down the bottom, and then I've had to start getting off lead vests. And you're already, and, like, you gassed already. Already gassed, mate. The, the biggest thing is it's like after it hits a certain size, you are not in control anymore, you know. It's the ocean will humble any man as you know well, so. um so we went over to california for the awards night i had maybe five or six of my friends came oh. over just for moral support as well oh. yeah it was crazy and then so we entered the event and it's it's the biggest event in big wave surfing in the world you know it's like it's wow. it's, it's so it's all these guys at school, you know as i was a schoolboy, they're now the guys that are emceeing and you know and <laughs> doing the intros and the rest of it and i walked into this venue it was a bit of a red carpet event all the you know cameras rolling and the rest of it and walked in there and there was like this 40 foot poster of me on that wave there wow was, no way. Yeah, it was, yeah it was crazy hey and i walked in and i've just gone oh. <gasps> and then there was people there with iphones filming you know as you're sitting out sand <laughs> kind of thing and yeah all the tripods it was pretty amazing it was like Four drones, you know, no way. Ten, wow. ten tow teams, you know, three video guys. There was heaps of stills, wow. like a, probably one of the most well documented surfs in WA in wow, ages and ages. Some good pics coming out of that, I can imagine. Age. Yeah, and the sharks come front on and grabbed his torso up to his chest, and so he was head. He's probably the only guy. What he's Jesus. alive too. Don't, he's alive. So this is a success story. But he's probably the only guy that's ever been halfway in a great white shark and then has managed to survive. Wow. Yeah, the, the ocean will always win. There will always be injuries. Mm. People will go down. So you just need to be equipped as much as you can to be able to, when that situation does occur, um, to be able to handle it. Positive then, affirmation the, uh, the whole time, trying to keep oxygen in him and then <laughs> going, look, yeah, you're going to be okay when... I didn't think he was going to be okay, you know. So, And then you've got to deal with the underwater waterfall and the eardrums going and all the rest of it. It's it's hideous, to be honest. Wow. It's absolutely crazy, some of the wipeouts and, and the thoughts. And yeah, so, so when we're abalone diving, we use, you know, obviously you have a you know bit of a helmet on, you have your booties on, but you don't actually use flippers. When you're going in to get the little variety, these, yeah. these bad boys, um, like I said, they're in that high impact zone. Uh, so you actually put a wetsuit on, you put a weight belt on, and you put a lead vest on to actually weight you down. So then wow. you run a hooker hose, and so you're breathing out of compressed air from the surface, and then you're actually moonwalking no along way. the bottom of the ocean <laughs> to be able to have a non-invasive method and yeah. go, look, guys, we, we haven't even utilized everything that we've got uh, that we know as humans, and it's and it's like let's get this information out there. And what I honestly to believe to be the most effective shark deterrent just happens to be the simplest yeah. one that nature uses as a yeah, defense. Sure. 